Uh, this is Subaradi. Uh, today we are here to discuss about uh, send suggested actions in Microsoft Teams, right? How we can send uh, suggested actions in uh, bot applications. Uh, you may ask what is suggested actions? So for example, uh, if you navigate to Teams, uh, th these are the suggested actions. Uh, so for example, if somebody typing, uh, thank you very much, uh, then uh, instead of you typing the message like uh, no problem, you are welcome. These are like a regular responses, right? So uh, Teams platform have this feature uh, to provide uh, auto suggested actions here so that you don't need to type. You can just click on it so that it, uh, you can send the message uh, quickly. So the suggested actions will help for uh, in chart section majorly whenever you want to chart with user uh, with other users, right? Uh, so it will be helpful uh, to send the response quicker, but these might work only for the uh, regular use sentences, uh, which are everybody will use the like uh, everybody will use that in charting, right? So you might get suggested actions only for particular items, um, but how this can be implemented in uh, bot applications. That's the main uh, agenda here. So for example, if you uh, go to any bot application, like if you type some message, uh, you will get the response. Uh, if you, for example, if you type hi, you may get some adaptive cards. So in adaptive cards, you will get some buttons like this, but there will be different type of buttons like uh, uh, action button, open URL button, uh, task fetch button, different type of buttons. Um, but uh, for example, if you have some message action button, if you click on that button, uh, the uh, message will go back to a uh, bot application and you will get the response. But still the previous code will be, uh, will live like that. It, it, it will not be uh, removed. These actions will not be removed by default. This still will be there. Even though you get the response, you can go back to this uh, adaptive code and click on that button again. But in some scenarios, uh, you don't want to, if you don't want to uh, keep those uh, buttons visible, then you need to replace this card. That also can be done from the bot. You can, once the action has been taken, you can replace that card. Uh, but uh, you need to do some development activity uh, uh, for that uh, type of cases you need to handle. Uh, and also, for example, if you type some message, uh, you will get a question like, for example, how can I help you or something like that? But and uh, instead of you typing it, uh, the response is uh, you can get the auto suggested actions. Uh, let me show the behavior. Suggested actions. This is the uh, my sample application. So for example, uh, if I type here, uh, I will get the response uh, along with the options. Uh, let me wait for the response. Yeah, see uh, here, I just say hi and the bot responded with uh, some question like what is your favorite color, but I can type the color, but there could be a typo issues or you need to type something. So instead of that, uh, you can respond uh, with the options, like whatever options you want to display, you can display those options here so that user can select these options from here. Like for example, if I type uh, red, uh, then the suggested actions will uh, disappear uh, because you already had taken uh, action on that. So that suggested actions will uh, remove it. Uh, and uh, yeah, here, for example, I just selected red. Red is the best color. I agree. You get the response. But again, I responded back with the same uh, card. That's why you're saying again, what is your favorite color? And it is showing uh, these uh, responses. And also it shows this like the suggested replace are generated by bot. It, it shows this op experience uh, specifically, but uh, how to uh, develop this experience, right? So for example, if you go to uh, bot framework documentation, uh, this is the main uh, 
required uh, JSON unit add, suggested actions, actions, you can send whatever value title you want to send, whatever value you want to send, you can pass those values. Uh, and uh, the type, right? It's only supported to use embed button. You cannot use action dot open URL tasks fetch. Uh, there will be different type of actions, right? You cannot add all those things. Currently it is supported only I am back button. So this is the main JSON you need to use. For example, here if you go to documentation, it uh, teams documentation, it explains the same. Like uh, what are the suggested actions you want to perform and for which message you want to send reply, right? You can do that. So see here, hello, you get a card and then you get the suggested actions based on your requirement. It is also having uh, some limitation, I would say. It's you need to see the note. Said suggested actions are only supported for one to one chart bots and text based messages, not adapt to cards or attachments. Uh, you cannot implement this one uh, for adaptive cards. You cannot have like a adapt, uh, adaptive card actions with the suggested actions reply. It's only supported for text based messages. And uh, as I said, only I am back here. I am back only action type uh, and it display. It can display up to three suggested actions only. So those are the uh, limitations majorly. So uh, it, this documentation also have. Uh, I will give the. Uh, there is a GitHub application uh, with a sample. I will give the link in the for the in the below the video. Uh, so this is the solution for the suggested actions. So for example, whenever the user uh, sending some message, uh, we are getting the response. We are getting that particular message. And this one, right? Await send suggested actions. So it this will uh, this is the method uh, where we have implemented uh, this particular sending suggested actions. So like uh, this is the message you want to send, and also these are the suggested actions for that particular message. Red, yellow, blue, right? So these are the suggested actions which supports the latest bot framework. So you can send these uh, list card actions and you can send it as activity. So by using this one, uh, this is the way to implement this one. So once you type it, it will disappear. And if you if you don't select it, but if you go back to other charts, teams, channels, right? Uh, then still it this will be displayed. So uh, th that's the behavior for sized actions. But as I said, this supports only in one to one personal chart bot. If you install it in uh, team scope or group chart scope, it will not work. Uh, this behavior will not work. So it's mainly for uh, some of the bot application. You want to showcase some suggested actions instead of user typing it, then you can use this feature in Teams. So that's majorly about suggested actions. Thank you.